Rocky is one of the most iconic American films ever made. I'm a little biased here, it is after all my second favorite movie ever. After, of course, The Lion King. The franchise underwent many changes over its now 7 films and over 40 years of film history. But the original, just titled Rocky, really is one of the greatest films of all time. The low budget film about a small time boxer with a big heart was a sleeper hit in 1976 and went on to win 3 Oscars including Best Picture. And the winner is... Rocky Irwin, Winkler and Robert Chardoff producer. What makes Rocky so great isn't the story itself, but the characters in it. They're all complex and flawed. From Rocky to Polly to Mickey to Adrian, over the course of the film, and especially the series, the audience grows to understand and empathize with them. Rocky Balboa is a working class Italian American living in Philadelphia. He's a regular guy with a big heart and big dreams. Unable to live on the pay of his boxing fights, and being unable to find work anywhere else, Rocky has a job as a collector from the local loan shark just to make ends meet. With that kind of description, you might be quick to think of him as just an everyday brute, but you'd be wrong. He recognizes that fighting isn't a good profession to have, but he does it because he needs to get by. He's strong and not that bright, so it fits. I don't understand why anybody would want to be a fighter. Hey, you gotta be a moron. You gotta be a moron to wanna be a fighter, you know what I mean? It's a rapper we almost guaranteed to end up a bum. The same goes for debt collecting. He's not even particularly good at it. He's told to break a guy's thumbs if he doesn't have the money, but instead, he lets him off the hook and he gets yelled at for it later. Do what I tell you to do because it's bad for my reputation. I could talk about this movie forever, but in order to explore this a little bit better, let's just look at a few scenes from the movie. First, let's look at this interaction with the bartender at the Lucky Seven Tavern. This scene is important because the audience starts to get a feel for Rocky on the inside. Apollo Creed is the well-spoken African-American heavyweight champion of the world. Rocky respects Apollo and finds him to be inspiring. When the bartender criticizes Creed as just being a fool, Rocky defends him. Yeah, craziest man is champion in the world. He took his best shot and become champ. Huh? What shot did you ever take? Well, I guess... <laughs> and that was Jake Dale. Took Last that up your business. business. So insulted. Then there's Rocky's relationship with Mickey. Mick's the owner and manager of the gym Rocky trains at. He never really treated Rocky with any kind of respect, and just earlier in the film, evicted him from his locker at the gym. But when Mickey finds out about Rocky's fight with Apollo, he tries to convince Rocky to let him train and manage him in preparation for the fight. Well, what you need is a manager. At first, Rocky is cold and dismissive of the whole thing, eventually blowing up in his face. Rocky is scared about blowing his shot and being made a fool of in the ring. His yelling at Mickey is a reflection of that. Well, I'm not crying, Mick! At least you have pride! When he cools down, he chases after Mickey, apologizes, and agrees to his training. Next up, there's the Rocky Steps. This is probably the most famous scene in the entire franchise. As part of his preparation for the fight, Rocky runs from his lower class section of the city to the more intellectual area, concluding at the top of the steps in front of the Philadelphia Museum of Art. You see him run this distance on day one of his training, and at the end of a training montage later on. Part of what makes this scene so appealing is that it's symbolic of Rocky's journey in the movie. He runs from the bottom to the top. He turns around to face the city and raises his arms up into the air, higher than the buildings in Philadelphia's skyline. It's one of the most inspirational scenes in any film, even if he does look kind of funny during the close-ups. Adrian is his love interest throughout the course of the movie. She's Polly's younger sister, his best friend. She's very shy and works at a pet shop by Mick's gym. Rocky stops by the shop in the morning and night every day and tries to tell her a joke. As Adrian warms up to Rocky, we, as the audience, warm up to him too. Why do you want to fight? Because I can't sing or dance. Hey, yo. She lives with Polly and takes care of him when he goes through his manic episodes. He's emotionally abusive to her, and to say he's unbalanced at times is an understatement. But through her relationship with Rocky, she learns to stand up for herself and find her own self-worth. After the fight, the only thing on Rock's mind is Adrian. What are you thinking about when that buzzer's on for that line? What are you thinking about when the 15th round, you're coming out? Adrian!
This movie spoke to the economic conditions America was going through during the 1970s. America during the mid to late 70s was going through an economic crisis. On top of that, growing competition abroad from Japan's booming economy and an energy crisis that led to oil shortages made many Americans begin to question their country's place in the world, and with that, their own place. Both Presidents Ford and Carter struggled to alleviate the American people's economic woes. Fundamentally, this is an American dream story. Even though Rocky doesn't become wealthy and successful in the movie, it is a rags to riches story. A nobody every man getting the shot of a lifetime, and working as hard as he can to make his dream come true now that he's given the chance. Just as it spoke to Americans in the 70s that were uncertain about their futures, dreaming of better days as those hopes were growing smaller, it speaks to everyone trying to reach inside to not give up on their biggest dreams. In the end, it doesn't matter whether or not Rocky wins the fight. He gives it his all and goes all 15 rounds with the heavyweight champion of the world. He's got a girlfriend he's crazy about, and she's crazy about him too. The film ends with Rocky being a hero, even though he loses the fight. That's because in reality, the fight never really was against Apollo. By getting the shot and going the distance, Rocky won the fight that counts.